Welcome again to Story Break. I have a wonderful little shorter story. This one's like a little short one, kind of short, but it is very heartwarming and a heartwarming pet adoption story. I love pet adoption stories like that. And this is another good one for um, phonological awareness. So awareness of letter sounds and the rhyming in this. It's, it's a very uh, neat little book for, for, um, for that kind of encouraging phonological awareness in your ch children too. So that is another reason why this is a great book. And it is called Mr. Scruff. I bet you you can tell who Mr. Scruff is right there. And it's by Simon James, Mr. Scruff. Let's see about this one. Well, look at there. This is Polly. There's Polly. She looks like a little poodle, doesn't she? This is Polly. She belongs to Molly. This is Eric. He belongs to Derek. There's Derek and Eric. This is Minnie. She belongs to Vinny. Vinny and Minnie. Mm. But who's this? It's Mr. Scruff. For Mr. Scruff, there's no one. Look at that, it looks like he's in a shelter. This is Mick. A little scritchy, scratchy dog. This is Mick, he belongs to Rick. And this is Lawrence. He belongs to Florence. But things are looking rough for poor old Mr. Scruff. Wait a minute, who's this? Let's see, who's this? It's Jim. They seem to like each other. Are they shaking hands? But Jim, says dad, are you sure? He's so big and you're so small. I can't see it working, no, not at all. He's so old, says mom, and you're so young. Surely a puppy would be more fun. No, says Jim. He needs a home, a place to call his very own. That's what he needs, and that's enough for me and Mr. Scruff. So, while Polly has Molly, Eric has Derek, Minnie has Vinnie, Mick has Rick, and Lawrence has Florence, now Mr. Scruff belongs to Jim. And though it doesn't rhyme, it's all worked out just fine. But wait a minute, who's this? It's Mr. Gruff. He's come to choose a dog. Here's a little pup. They seem to like each other. I'm so big and you're so small. But that doesn't matter. Nope, not at all. Mr. Gruff is happy. It's the perfect dog for him. Can you guess the puppy's name? Well, of course, it's Tim. The end. Isn't that sweet? See you next time.